Welcome back to the second part of the COVID-19 testing progress report series. In the last segment, we went over basic facts of the coronavirus disease and discussed how it is diagnosed through PCR testing. In this video, we'll discuss an alternate type of testing to PCR, the importance of both of these tests, and go over testing regulations and guidelines. To support PCR diagnostic testing, another type of test is available. Antibody testing, also known as serology testing, detects past exposure to COVID-19. Essentially, this test indicates whether you were previously infected with COVID-19 and have developed antibodies against the virus. So what are antibodies? Antibodies are small proteins that are part of your immune system and circulate in your blood. When you get an infection, your immune system will release cells that will recognize and remember the foreign particle that has caused the infection. Other immune cells will then produce these antibodies to fight off the infection by attacking the infectious cells. Antibodies can remain in your body for months to years after the initial infection. So, to test for coronavirus, your healthcare provider or a worker will take a prick of your blood or a larger blood sample from you. They will then test the blood for the presence of antibodies against the coronavirus. The presence of antibodies means that your immune system has already encountered the virus and has developed antibodies to fight off and kill the virus particles. The antibody test has many advantages. Firstly, it takes much less time to complete than a PCR test. By using the prick method, you could get your results in a matter of minutes. Secondly, this test reveals who has developed antibodies. It identifies those who have developed immunity so that they can return to work earlier if they need to. Thirdly, if no antibodies to the virus are found, it indicates that the person is susceptible or can still contract COVID-19. The last advantage of this type of test is that people who have recovered from COVID-19 may be eligible to donate plasma, which is a component of their blood. There are promising studies that show when this plasma is injected into people with life-threatening COVID-19 infections, it boosts their ability to fight off the virus. However, this test also has its disadvantages. Antibody testing is not accurate or sensitive enough, which can lead to false negative results. It takes time for your body to build up antibodies, which can take between 7 and 11 days from the time of infection or when you develop symptoms for the coronavirus antibodies to be produced and therefore detected. This means that if an infected person gets this test done before this time frame, the test may not detect antibodies and show a false negative result, even though the person will eventually develop these antibodies. For this reason, it is not recommended to take this test until at least 14 days after the onset of symptoms. So how can these tests help reduce the spread of COVID-19? The PCR test is useful as it can detect current COVID-19 infections. This information is invaluable as it can help with contact tracing and tracking coronavirus cases. If you test positive, you can isolate yourself and get treatment earlier. As a result, this reduces the burden on loved ones and the associated burdens on our healthcare system. The antibody test is invaluable to scientists as it can deepen their understanding of COVID-19 on who is getting sick, particularly people who are asymptomatic. If used on a large scale, this test can give scientists and government officials a better sense of the prevalence and death rate of the disease and inform public policies. For example, Public Health Ontario uses serology testing results to better understand what proportion of the Ontario population has COVID-19 antibodies and to identify hotspots and high-risk groups. This helps the public health system and the government to evaluate the effectiveness of the pandemic response thus far and then take targeted steps to prevent further spread of the disease. This test can also give insight into possible treatments and vaccines. So what are the guidelines and recommendations for testing? The following recommendations and guidelines pertain to residents of Ontario, Canada. If you are showing symptoms of COVID-19, you can only get tested at an assessment centre in Ontario. You can also get tested at an assessment centre if you are not showing symptoms, but you also have been exposed to a confirmed case and you've been notified. You have had close contact within 6 feet for a total of 15 minutes or more with someone who has confirmed COVID-19, or you live or work in a setting that has had a COVID-19 outbreak. If you do not have symptoms, you can get tested at an assessment center or select pharmacies if you are part of a targeted testing initiative, including the following groups listed below. If you think you've been exposed to COVID-19 but the above criteria do not apply to you, speak with your healthcare provider. Not everyone needs to be tested. If you do get tested, you should self-quarantine or isolate at home pending re test results and follow the advice of your healthcare provider or a public health professional. If you test positive, isolate and stay home. 
Don't leave your home except to receive medical attention. Separate yourself and stay in a specific room away from other people and pets. Get rest and stay hydrated. Take over-the-counter medicines such as acetaminophen, also known as Tylenol, to help you feel better. Stay in touch with your doctor or healthcare provider. Now, let's summarize what we've talked about in this video. In the video, we delved deeper into antibody, also known as serology testing, specifically how it works, its advantages and disadvantages. We also discussed the importance of PCR and serology testing and went over testing regulations and guidelines in Ontario. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe to the Demystifying Medicine channel on YouTube. Like, comment, and share the video if you liked it. That's all for now. Thanks and goodbye.